Over the past year, we have reported on dozens of meth-related investigations, and just yesterday, firefighters say they discovered the drug inside an RV that caught fire at a park on Phillips Highway. And police arrested Jacqueline Giroux and her boyfriend, Matthew Inman, who owns the RV. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci spoke with local police and firefighters about how big the drug problem is. We see it all the time. Police, fire and rescue rushing to a home because someone discovered methamphetamine. Absolutely. Uh, uh, you know, those are uh, hazardous materials when you put all these pieces together. It's a dangerous situation for everyone, from neighbors to first responders. It's such a, an ex, a flammable and explosive chemical that they're using. Yesterday at this South Metro RV park, a new investigation after this massive fire. This RV is now destroyed along with just about everything inside of it. But state fire marshals say when they were here collecting evidence, they did find meth. And that's why they decided to block off the area and have police evacuate the residents here. Hazmat crews worked into the night to clean it up. Police arrested 24-year-old Jacqueline Giroux, the woman inside, for arson. Turns out they say she was acting strangely and later admitted to intentionally starting the fire by lighting clothes on fire. Experts say bizarre behavior like this, just one of the side effects of meth use. Overdoses, um, you, you know, uh, people in cardiac arrest due to these issues, or, or really uh, psychological issues. You know, a lot of times you get on this meth and you just kind of go crazy. The problem's all over. Meth busts in every county in Northeast Florida. In St. Johns County, for example, there have been seven meth labs discovered and 71 meth-related arrests this year alone. <laughs> Authorities say they're doing what they can to stop what some are calling an epidemic before it spreads anymore. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.